Hey everyone, it's Mario Time 1000, and welcome back to another F1 diecast video. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the 2016 RB12, Red Bull 12 if you're retarded and don't know what RB means, driven by Max Verstappen and Daniel Ricciardo. This is Daniel Ricciardo's um, car, you can see because three. And uh, we're going to be just looking at it and comparing it to the 2015 Red Bull that I looked at in a prior video. Um, this is the 2015 RB11 driven by Danny Fiat. All right. So uh, I think the box is the same as the 2015 besides the markings and stuff. But uh, one thing I noticed, there's a couple things I noticed. I think this car is on the same mold as this car, so it doesn't actually have, like, the differences that the cars had from 2015, the aerodynamic differences. I don't know. I don't know anything about these two cars, if they were that all, all that much different from year to year. All I know is that this car was successful, this car was not. All right, so we're just going to open this and then... Yeah, look at it. This car, uh, I don't know how many podiums it had. It had quite a few compared to the two that the 2015 had. But this car did have two wins. One in Spain with Verstappen. And the other one was in Malaysia where Daniel Ricciardo won. And it was a Red Bull 1-2. So yeah, I actually remembered their screws. Alright, so and just like that, the screw... It was out. Frick you, piece of shiz. Get off. All right, screw is out, and the Red Bull 12 is out of its box. And right away, the dang thing of freaking focus. You can see the car is a matte. It's got a dollar blue. It has a matte finish as opposed to a glossy finish. The Infinity logo is gone, as in 2016, they've... Red Bull finally fell out with Renault, and they just decided to run the Renault engines rebranded. I can't tell. It looks... I'm trying to do this on camera. It looks like the front wings are the same. It's just the yellow is placed a little bit differently, so they sort of look different. But uh, these are definitely running the same mold. So, uh, yeah, that's um, <clears throat> a thing. But you can see... Renault on 2015 Taguer, which is just a sponsor. It's not actually building the engines, the Renault engines. Back of the car, the same, except the Infinity logos are gone. Side, the side's the same. The front, you can see there's significant, you can't see that because I'm retarded and I'm not looking through the camera. You can see significantly less sponsors on the front of the car. There's only Hisense and Pirelli and Total. And, uh, well, Red Bull, of course. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the car. The bottom, oh, wow, the bottom doesn't even say, this car says the Red Bull 11. This one is just left uh, blank. Doesn't even say that it's what car it is. So, um, yeah, you can see the paint scheme. It's pretty much the same. Obviously, it's got rid of the yellow outline on all the bulls and stuff. This Red Bull logo's gone. It's been replaced by this giant one. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this car. I do, I think it looks pretty good. I think the matte finish works really well for this car. I like the Red Bull cars with the, the brighter blue. Uh, I think this one kind of looks dull, but it still looks okay. Obviously, the matte finish is what kind of does it good. One thing that I found interesting, though, is if you remember in the last video, I mentioned this little, the the T-bar thing up here on how on this car, it's not, it's black, which didn't make any sense because Fiat was definitely not the first driver. What's interesting about this car is that it does have it, but it's on Ricardo, which is kind of weird because he was definitely the lead driver in 2016. What was interesting is I saw a a picture that on eBay that was both of the cars, the Ricardo and the Verstappen, um, both of them had the yellow T-bar here. So clearly what they do is they just make the same car and then they just plas they just plop a 33 there instead of 3. Wow, that, wow, wow, wow. So uh, 
some cost cutting there I see so I dare say that's what they did with this car they just made the same car and plopped a 26 there instead of three and didn't even change this bar but uh, yeah as for that that's pretty much it there's not much more to go over with this car um, it's pretty cool uh, I wish the mold was different but obviously since F1 cars team by team all the cars are different and then again they change every year there's, it would just cost so much money to keep producing new molds for these, so I can see why they didn't. It doesn't look, let's see here, I can't really tell, it doesn't really look like the, the rear wing, the rear front wing, as I stupidly called it in the last video, um, it doesn't look like it's as tipped as this one is, so that's probably just a problem with this car alone. Um, it's from Poland, so you never know what those crazy guys over there in Poland. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, that's this car. It's on super, oh my god, I freaking did it again. I call it a super soft tire. It's on soft tires, the yellow ones, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just trying to look for anything else to talk this vi talk about. Not really. Aston Martin, though. Why didn't they just get Aston Martin to sponsor the engines? Because that's a car company. Tag Ewer is, like, freaking not. It's like watches or shiz. I don't know what it is. Um, what is Tag Ewer? It's definitely not watches. But, um, yeah, that's a stupid thing. All right, this video's done. If you liked the video, subscribe, like the video. If you hated the video, dislike the video. Let's shoot for 20 dislikes. Don't. Actually, you know what? People are going to do that now. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you for part two of NASCAR Heat Evolution, which I did film and make, and it's it's going to be so good. You guys are going to think it's the best video on YouTube, and you're going to be like, Ah, oh, yeah. Frick you, die. <laughs>